Blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The book of Job teaches us something that's so instrumental when it comes to the demonic world, and that is this. Demons have to get permission from God before they can do anything to you. The devil himself had to get permission to attack Job. When he showed up to attack Job, he did not come the night before and threaten him and say, tomorrow I'm killing your kids that I'm going to kill your servants. I'm going to make you sick in your body because he had authority. He had been authorized to attack him. A devil that's been authorized to attack you does not threaten you. He just does what he's authorized to do. If he's been told no, then he comes and tells you something that he wants to happen but cannot make happen himself. Welcome to the spirit of suicide. I was convinced that there was no way to live a completely happy life. And if I couldn't live happy, I didn't want to live at all. It began with a divorce, a broken home. And I believe that through that, my mentality began to form and began to develop a sense of rejection because I didn't understand. I was a small child and didn't understand adult things. And so I, I felt the breakup was all about me. That sense of rejection my life to end the void, to end. So I believe that the only answer for me was to end my life. I walked um, to my mother's room thinking I don't want anyone to see me because I'm so determined to end my life, to end the void, to end the suffering, to end the loneliness, that nothing was going to stop me. I began crying out and I began screaming out to God, God, forgive me. And the gun went off. And I ended up in a place that was complete torment. And my body was burning. I no longer was lonely. I was no longer depressed. I became depression. I became loneliness. I became a tormented being of fear. And as I began looking out and I saw all of these other people and everybody was screaming in pain, the, the mutual thing that everyone shared there was their desire to scream out to everybody on earth, do not come here acknowledge that life is about Jesus Christ. Eternity is real, and hell is real, and heaven is real, and how you live your life will determine where you go. Though our sins are scarlet, you have made us white as snow. Though our sins are scarlet, you have made us white as snow. 